look at that. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a Colt Mark IV Series 80. <laughs> I rhymed it. This says government model, 380. So correct me if I'm wrong, these are called Colt Mustangs unofficially. That's what I was told by the gun store that I bought this thing from. This is a gun that I've always thought was really cool. They're just like tiny 1911s chambered in 380 ACP. And this says Colt Mark IV, says, it does not say Mustang on it all. So the gun shop said that everybody called these things Colt Mustangs, but Colt never officially called them that. So we have a brand new Colt Mustang and we are going to be shooting it into fudge in the Christmas spirit because Granny always makes fudge for you on Christmas. I know she does. We're gonna see, can Granny's fudge stop a bullet? That sounds weird. Let's just call it fudge. King fudge, stop a bullet. Granny's fudge. We're gonna start with the 22 long rifle. Out of this Henry. Whoa, I did not expect it to do that. <laughs> Sorry. This is actually really cool. So we just put all these little like bricks of fudge together and it went in right there and split it down the middle. Holy cow, that went really far. Oh, look at that perfect tunnel right there. Still carrying on. Ooh, this is gross. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Where are you? Aha! Look at that. Squish that little 22 down. This is some well-packed fudge. We're gonna have to do something a little bit more powerful. This is an old gun. It's actually a really nice condition one though. Um, it looks brand new. We're just gonna plink with a little bit and see how the little 380 fires. See if it works good. Oh yeah. We got too fast. Oh, that was it. Not a very big mag. Oh no. We're shooting kind of weird shaped bullets now. So they're flat, kind of plus shapes on the ends. Okay, we'll see if they cycle in this thing. This thing shoots good. I like the feel of it. That's cool. Probably about to waste a little bit of ammo. So let's see what this thing can do. Oh man. It's like it didn't eject that one. Oh, there it is. Dude, I was aiming high on those first two. I think it was going high, so I just put it on target. And it just hit two in a row at 100 yards. I think that was me pulling it left. I don't know where that one went. Should have quit while I was ahead. For a two inch barrel 380, it's not bad. It's hard to get hands on this little thing. We are going to shoot the 380 now. I have that same round, which I think is like a, it's a round that's good at penetrating. We're going straight into our block of fudge over here. I thought the fudge was going to be a lot more uh, resilient than it seems to be. So as you can see, it came in, looks like right there, and just threw everything everywhere. Oh, there's a bullet. I see it. Look at that. Totally went a foot into fudge and did not change its shape at all. Stopped right there before I got to the big block. Okay, we're gonna pile this back up and shoot something a little bit bigger now. I don't know about y'all, but I'm pumped for Christmas. And we got a brand new pump for Christmas shirt, which you should get. And everyone who orders today, links in the description, we're gonna pick 24 of y'all to win some Wheeler Fat Sticks. These are actually really cool. They're little torque wrenches with torque specs. They're the common torque specs that you need for working on firearms or working on your scopes. Um, so really cool for someone who wants to build their own firearms. Wheeler, we appreciate you for sending those fat sticks. And also, do not forget that everyone who orders this shirt and any shirt during our Christmas series is entered into winning this beautiful truck. He's gonna come right around here and I'm gonna tell you all about, hey, no, 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 turn, turn, turn. Um, I will show you that truck tomorrow. I prompt. It, it's a beauty. You're going to love it. Get your shirt. Link description below. Also, shirt is linked in the merch shelf below. We are shooting some double out buck out of this 12 gauge from the hip at the fudge. 
I was actually not as devastating as I thought it was going to be. Look at all this like, powdery stuff. It must be from the shotgun. I don't know. Uh, you can see it kind of came in right here on the top right half and then kept going that way. So out of the ones that went through the bottom half though, oh look, there's a wad. Piece of the wad. Yeah, that stuff was coming out of the shotgun. So yeah, we went through all the way through some of this, kept going into our fudge. Let's see if we can find some of these BBs. There's one right there. There's another all the way back here. Looks like the furthest ones went right around here. So we have only made it about halfway through the back block. I'm gonna build this all together. We're gonna shoot something with a little more power. I got poo on my fingers. We're gonna do a little 30 out six action with the old M1 Grand. But first, let's just smack some stuff. <laughs> oh man, I'm probably killing my targets here. Let's hit a little bit of fudge with a big old 30 out six. Oh, it shot it so far. And we didn't get a ding. Bummer, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> he stepped in poo. Pure <laughs> devastation here. Uh, there's actually, I mean, you can see little pieces of metal everywhere. We're not going to find that bullet. It exploded in this everywhere. So I don't actually think it went very far. I think it went right here and went, Phew. this stuff is very dense. It is very thick, heavy stuff. Oh, I was just saying we weren't going to find a bullet and I just found the bullet. Yep, there it is. Lots of pieces flew off of it, but the mass of the bullet is right there. Not super far in. Like the shotgun pellets went a little further. There it is. 30 out six. Also, we're going to, all these bullets we found, we are going to drop them um, in some of your shirts. We're going to pick some random guys and give you the bullet as well. And we'll put one thing of fudge in with every single shirt. Um, oh, look, a bullet. You know what? This guy gets fudge and a bullet. I'm just kidding. We're not really going to put fudge in your shirts. They'll be clean. I mean, I'll pack them so there'll be a little bit of poo in them, but like mostly clean. How about a 50 BMG flashy flash? See what it'll do to that fudge over there. 50 BMG flashy flash coming in hot. <laughs> that actually left a lot more fudge on the table than I thought it would. I aimed a little low because I thought the thing was shooting high. So it actually came in right here, hit the bottom of the fudge, and then exploded our table. You can see where it burned the fudge. Made a pretty good mess and, uh, yep, destroyed our table. What are you doing? Hey, what are you guys doing? You just hide behind a tree on the range? Downrange. Hey, can I be in your next video? Yeah. We have to make it Mexican themed though. Mexican Christmas tomorrow. Fuck yeah! Thanks for watching this episode of Christmas Stimulus Ranch. I love you. Come check us out. Me and Crispy. Manana. Okay. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor.